Hello guys, welcome to a new video on the channel. This is the second episode of our hamburger SV career. Um, and football manager save. And since last episode, a lot has happened. We are just about to go into the first proper game. And we've made, like, four transfers. Um, and there's probably at least maybe one or two transfers to come. Um, a couple of outs that could be coming as well. But um, we will start at the top. We've signed this guy called Greg Lee. Now, he's a left back, and you're already probably thinking, why did you sign this guy? And no, he, he isn't the left-footed centre-back that we were buying. Um, he <laughs> He's to replace Tim Lee Boyd, um, who could be out to going out to um, the place named Udinese, um, who is quite a lot better, I will admit, than Greg Lee. But he's also a backup. Um, Joshua Wagenerman is better, but I'd prefer him to be a backup on this right-hand side. So he's probably going to be a backup to whoever comes in at left-back when um, the, our current left-back leaves. This is the left-footed centre-back, Benedict Gimba. Now, he's worth £1.7 million. We did sign him for £1.8, so hopefully we'll be able to make a profit on him in a couple of seasons' time. Um, he's here to basically come in when Rick Van Drongelen's injured or, like, can't play. But he is same star ability, three star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. He did play in the DFP Pokal game that we have had already this season. Then um, we've signed this guy, um, he's free agent. I signed him because he looked quite good. Um, he could be in the a Bundesliga two striker. Really, I signed him so I could make a bit of money on him. He's worth 6.5k. Hopefully, he'll be able to do something in the future. Advance forward kind of was a panic signing. Two and a half star current ability. Um, don't know what his potential ability is because he's a Hamburg S V2. And then we've also signed the actual striker that we were looking for, who I don't know if we're going to sign another striker and he'll be the backup. Um, he's like an impact sub, but he looks quite good, if I'm going to be honest. And his name is Koyota Kitagua. Um, he's came in from Rapid Vienna, and, lo well, as you can see, this season he scored one goal in one game, so he's, he's an insane striker. But he's not really scored too many goals at his time in the kind of big leagues. Um, he did score some goals in Japan, um, and if you look at Japan, their big league is Neon League 1, but it's not really the second German league. So, he comes in, worth 250k, hopefully he'll be able to do something. He's best striker at the club who does what I want them to do, because we're playing advanced forwards. Don't worry, Tarod will not be starting. He's, <laughs> if you look at his advanced forward, yeah, he's not very good. Um, good player for most Bundesliga two sides. Could be a leading player in the future. Brought in in for £175,000. Hopefully we'll be able to double our money in the future. No potential ability though. And that is all of the transfers. For the outs, we have sold Lucas Hinsteer. This is the reason that we did need a striker. Um, mainly really because of his age and his value. We sold him for 500k. You could say that's a little bit low for someone who scored nine goals last season. But even though he's worth 900k, he's only a 58 on the scout reports and they don't want to sell him anyway. Um, he's operating at a decent Bundesliga level, but I don't really buy into that. And we've let Bobby Wood go out on loan for the season. He's out on loan at Midtjylland. He's leaving anyway on a free. So we thought, well, let's just get some money out of it. So he's out there. I'm pretty sure they're paying all of his wages. Um, they are paying 
some of his wages, definitely. Um, 4.2k a week they're paying him. We're paying him 42k still. But, um, they are paying us 10k every month that he is there. So, I mean, it's, it's not bad really, is it? Get a little bit of money out of him. And hopefully, um, it will be better than what we expected this season. So, for the schedule then, um, we've kind of started the season alright. The first kind of three friendlies were awful, losing to Sevilla, Alaves, and to our second team. But after that, we've kind of gone on a decent um, bit of form. Beat Chelsea, um, drew against Valencia and Ingolstadt, as well as 1860 München. And then we thrashed Warsberger kickers 4-1 in the first round of the DFB Pokal and if we just go over here and let's put the goal scores on and move them up um, to there as you can see we had goals from Yatta, Onana, Vagnerman and Nari and talking about Nari, he will make the bench and um, the team is this then. We have got Ulrecht in goal. Back four of Ley, Gimba, Listeiner and Bayer. Young, Kimbosi and Dujaj in midfield with Kirtel, Yatta and Kigawawa up top. So let's get into the game then. As you can see, I have removed Nori from the transfer list. As a match, he looks like he's going to be sold. So does Leiboid, so they both miss out. Let's get straight into this then. Let's go to the match, and hopefully we'll be able to win this game. So without, sh with hands in pockets, we're going to say, let's give the fans something to cheer about. And yeah, let's get straight into it then. So, we are going to be on extended highlights. Um, I do play on key highlights between the matches, just because it makes it slightly quicker. Um, but we'll go with extended highlights for the games, because it's only going to be one game an episode. and Unless it's like a really big episode where we need like two games. But this episode is just going to be one. There's Kiertel on this left wing. And... He has been tackled and Zinnemann looks to get it forward here. He's going down the wing quite well, Zinnemann. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. We are on the TV camera, if you did want to know. And Prib, what can they do here? As they pass it to the edge of the box and they've hit the post. Ooh, that was a brilliant shot by Hib there. And... The ball in here, Lestina gets it away, and what can we do on the counter? Not anything, as Danso wins the ball back. And the team that we are playing, which I think is Frankfurt, um, or whoever we're playing, I know that they were in the league above last year, and that's a good block from Gimba, and the ball's gone out for a throw-in on this near side, Zinnemann. Can we win the ball back? Which we can. And now we're away on the counter-attack with Dijidag. <laughs> I can't say his name properly. And Kitogawa. Oh, the new striker did well there. Did Kitogawa. Kit Why do I sign players that I can't say the name of? Dijidag. Mm. Dijidag. Dijidag. There you go, Dudizak. That's what his name is. And Kitagawa. Kitawawa. Kitagawa. There we go. So, if we look at the XG, they have been behind so far. The opposition. And we have had quite a decent first half as Kiertel, now Lee, Lee, into the back post. It's quite a way out though. Wasn't the greatest of crosses. He's been passing around in midfield with Young. 
and not really sure what we're really doing as Lee's got it again and have a go He's, as we have one injured player on the field as Lee passes it backwards and that's a brilliant ball Kittel oh he probably should have stuck it away there but that was a brilliant move from the boys and Kiertel plays the ball in, Danso heads it away from the corner. And it's been a decent first half for us. As we go into the dressing room, and I've got to be honest, I've got to say we've been the better team here, because we have. So on comes Alfredo Morales. Um, isn't he quite a good player? Or is that just me? I don't know. I'll have a look after this game for you guys. But I'm pretty sure I know that name before. I might be thinking of Morelos. But here comes Bayer on this right hand side. Just after kickoff. And he plays a lovely ball. Kim Sosi. And it's a shot! Ooh. Just wide. What is this guy's first name? Koya. We're calling him. Koya, you know what? You're getting renamed. When I can. Let's, here comes Alfredo Morales. I know that name. 100%. Headed away by Lee. We are going to make a change in a minute. Because they're still passing it around. Danso here. Can we win the ball back with Koya? Which we can't though, but... Here they come on the attack again, and he's gone through him, and it's cleared away, not convincingly, and there is going to have to be a change here, though. We're going to make the change, and we're also going to rename him, so set nickname to Koya. So, we've got Koya, and who else do we want? We would like... Jeremy. This guy's going to be called Jeremy from now on. So, Jeremy. Because I cannot say this guy's first name. Um, so, off comes Jeremy. We're going to bring on Aaron Hunt here. And that's the change that we're going to make. As, um, Hunt comes on. Off comes Jeremy. <laughs> that looks so funny. Wait, no, Jeremy needs to be renamed again. And so does Koya because they don't work. Edit nickname. Koya. Alright, that's alright, I'll just switch it now. No! I need his nickname, but. Get the nickname on. Go on. Just Koya. Alright, Koya, there we go. Doesn't look any different anywhere else, it's fine. Comes Zinnemann on this right hand side, what can you do here? Whew. I'll probably take off the Jeremy one, because I don't like it, right? And Kimbi OC is going to come off here. For Onana, as Onana is brilliant. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, it's just Jeremy. Nah, nah, it's not Jeremy. Get off. But his name will be Jeremy when we call him. So on he comes. And we'll also. Nah, we'll wait to bring on Nari, I think. I was going to do a double change, but I don't think we need to yet. Because it's still nil nil here. And. If we can keep it to nil-nil, it will be a decent opening day as Hennings comes down this right-hand side and it's good cross but saved by Ulkrecht in goal. And it's good clearance but not great enough. And they come again, Gimba heading it away. And now can we come down the wing with Kiertel? Nice ball over to Yatta on this right-hand side. Still going as Yatta. He play it into the box. He can. Oh, no, no. Poor, poor shot there, though. And we are going to make a, another change. It's going to be Nari coming on. On that right-hand side. 
number seven for him as Wolf takes the goal kick. Played upfield, but we do win it with Lee and now Kittiel. Kittel. He's lost it there though. And they could break as Young gets back. And it's nice passing around from the boys as Onana, now Young, over to Lee. And now up to Kiertel, who's lost the ball again, but Young wins it back in midfield. And Lee coming forward, and Kiertel has woken up and is going towards the ball. And here comes Lee with the cross, and Onana, his shot blocked as he passes it out to Lee again. What can Lee do? He can pass it back to Onana, and now Lee. Can he get a better ball in this time? He can't. And that was a kind of useless highlight, but it was good possession from us. But they have been on top, I would say, this second half so far. As it seems like it's going to be nil-nil at the end, which it is, I reckon. As we do have, I think this is like an end-of-match highlight, as it's played up. And that's brilliant by Koya as we pass it around Kittel Hunt Koya Koya oh he could have he could have been through there but it is a corner with about 30 seconds to go and we are up in fourth place I know that there's barely been any teams play and that was a brilliant header by Lesteiner but saved by Wolf and we've not looked like the better team today if i'm honest it's looked very even and it is going to be nil nil i reckon at the end of this game it's been a great start to the season playing a team that just came down and we're trying to go up of course but there's the full-time whistle it is hamburger sv nil fortuna dusseldorf nil so we're going to say hands on hips not happy because i would have liked us to win that game we probably should have um but as you can see jeremy's out injured um but it was decent for the boys so let's now just have a look at fortune of dusseldorf and we're wanting to look at who was it alfredo morelos no, it's not the one that I was thinking of, but he's still a good player. <laughs> he's, he's had a tour around Germany, so yeah. Right, so um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's been a decent start to the season. 0-0 on the opening day against Fortuna, and hopefully we'll be able to repeat that next time. And... I should say, when we come back, we're probably going to come back for the St. Pauli game, um, as that's quite a big game, it's a derby, because um, if you look at club info, we'll go over to general, they are fierce rivals, we also have Werder Raymond, but they're in the Bundesliga, so, yes, so yeah. I do want to thank you guys for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and... Good.